Welcome to Deadbeat Sessions, where the Herald Review brings in local artists to play in our morgue. Hi, my name is Scott King, owner of the finest music store and smoke shop in Benson. The largest, not to mention. We sell a nice supply of musical equipment for all your musical needs, for school or for the professionals. We have a great line of guitars. We even have our own line of guitars if you're interested. We carry all new, used, and musical equipment. We buy, sell, and trade. And not to mention, we have the largest and finest smoke shop in town, where we carry all your nicotine needs, vapes, and tobacco. And yes, we also carry the finest of THC products and edibles. So I invite you to come on down. Give us a try. Try us out. We know you'd like it. Thank you very much, and have a great day. all we ever knew the moment our lips touched one last breath we drew doomed from the start if it all went dark
Hi, uh, my name is John. I'm the lead singer, songwriter, acoustic guitar player, uh, band Truth Untold. Um, we got these other guys here that I play with. I feel privileged. Uh, they're going to introduce themselves. Tony, rhythm guitar. Steve, lead guitar and backup vocals. Vince, I play drums. Sweetie, bass, backup vocals. Well, an interesting story. So they uh, had a band before this uh, and that disbanded, of all things. And uh, we met at Paul's Pub. And they were like, hey, we're looking for a singer. What do you think? Uh, you want to audition? Tony was a little skeptical at first, but uh, he got over it, yeah. So I, I did an audition, and they were like, wow, we're not worthy of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they, warned me, they, warned, right, they warned me not to do that, but I can't listen. Um, but no, that, that's it. Uh, they were looking for a singer, and I said, hey, let's, let's do this thing. And so there you go. And then we got this uh, guitar maestro. Uh, got super lucky with that, too. So, so my experience uh, with the band has been a, a great one. Um, these guys are like brothers. Um, I think we'd pretty much die or, you know, for each other or eat a tasty pile of shit for each other or something like that, you know. You know, what makes this band special is, is kind of the eccentricity of it. Um, we go from a hard, heavy song with breakdowns to, you know, an acoustic ballad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, kind of a love-hate song. And you don't kind of have the variety that we do. That, that, that's part of what makes us special, but just, I think, the ingredients, you know, each of us together, the way we kind of just mesh together, that's really... I think we enjoy most um, all the females that we attract. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I um, being able to express myself yeah. and hopefully reach out to others as music is done for me. And we're trying to hold on to if I'm ever, you know, if I'm gone, for people to keep living on. There you go, building like a legacy. Yeah. Uh, that. Yeah, I, I mean, for me, when I write, and I like to make sure that I'm touching people with, you know, the words, the, the emotion, yeah. With my words. With my words, not with, not my yeah, not physical touch. <laughs> you know. As a band, we're looking forward to, uh, you know, the next show, of course, and we're looking forward to um, just... Releasing new music. There you go. Releasing new music, writing new music. Um, yeah. Buy a new equipment. There you go, buy a new equipment. And, you know, this, this interview coming out, we're looking forward to that, too. Me down. You say that you need me 
and I never see you around. Wow! Love me! Pushing pulls, trying to bring me down. You say that you need me, but my name's always in your fucking mouth. living or dead, it'd be Prince. I think I'd like to play bass while he fucking shreds his guitar all over the place. If I had to collab with any artist, it would be Justin Fersenfeld from Blue October. They're my favorite band, and they've <clears throat> gone through me a lot of, got me through a lot of hard times, and it would be an honor. If I could collaborate with any member of any band, I'd say I've always been a fan of Bert McCracken of The Used. Uh, and also, same thing, he's helped me <clears throat> get through some emotional times. But as I also just really enjoy his energy and passion and the way he writes music. Yeah, my favorite band is Between the Barry and Me. And so if I could collab with anybody, it'd be Tommy Rogers from Between the Barry and Me. Cool. I was going to say Michael Jackson, which isn't a bad answer because he's a badass. But actually, there's a band that's like my favorite band. It's kind of not well known so much. Um, but Decipher Down is pretty much my favorite band that's closer to closest to this genre so yeah that's that's who i would definitely so you think that you got me Here, let's get something straight here. It's not up in the beat, so I'm cool. You won't cast the spell on me. Stop right there. Let's get something straight here. It's not up for the beat, so I'm clear. You won't cast a spell on me. Before, walk away from the open door Turn away, I ain't looking back But I know where to climb your attack So you think that you got me? Think that you got me? You think that you got me? You ain't got shit out You think that you got me? Think that you got me? You think that you got me? You ain't got shit out Here. You won't play on my fear Take the wheel thinking that you will steer You won't take control of me Too many others have died before Walk away from the open door Turn away and looking back But you're ready to plan your attack So you think that you got me? Think that you got me? You think that you got me? You ain't got shit Think that you got me? Think that you got me? You think that you got me? You got me. You ain't got shit. 